All righty. Plus, there are new developments this afternoon after a woman is found dead in a Pleasant Ridge home. And that story does top our news at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Efrod Kasimi. We're now learning exactly what caused her death inside that home on Indiana Avenue. Let's get out live to our Lauren Podell, who has been following this story for us. She joins us with the very latest. Well, here's what we know, Evrod. We did recently hear back from the Oakland County Medical Examiner. They informed us that the autopsy is complete, but they cannot determine the exact cause of death just yet until toxicology reports have been completed. So right now we're trying to figure out, or medical examiners are trying to figure out, rather, what was inside of this 61-year-old's body at the time of her death. Was it carbon monoxide? That's the key question. Right now, we've got police and consumers energy out here on the scene at this home on um, Mayford here in Pleasant Ridge, trying to figure that out. Really, these inspectors and crews have been out here all morning long, now into the afternoon, trying to determine where a leak was. Whether or not this was this woman's cause of death is key because, regardless, there were high levels found in the house, and that's where the investigation goes from here. It was the middle of the night when this Pleasant Ridge home on Maywood Avenue near Woodward was blocked off with crime scene tape after 61-year-old Catherine LaDesseur was found unconscious inside of her home and something else was also discovered. Officers and uh, fire personnel smelled something odd. Uh, CO2 detector was brought in and some high levels of CO2 in the house were detected. After inspectors were brought in, it was determined high levels of CO, carbon monoxide, were detected. Levels so high, police kept the tape up to keep people out. There were high levels in the basement. Uh, I was told 700. So we're looking into that right now. The fire trucks here and the ambulance, the police cars were here, and all of a sudden, you know, they're in and out of the house, and they went in the house to get hazmat. You know, the, the uh, mass on that, so carbon monoxide uh, poisoning in that. So. Bill Bolton has lived next door to Kathy and her husband for two decades and can't believe how quickly life changed overnight. And we're all pretty vulnerable, you know, and we take every, every day to the fullest. We never know when our last day is going to be in that, you know. It was 12.30 in the morning when the 911 call came in, and while carbon monoxide may be the cause of this wife and mother's death, an investigation is underway. At this point, we're just investigating to make sure that everything is okay, but at this point, we're treating it as a medical situation, but looking into other issues to make sure there was nothing criminal that may have happened. And let's point out, police here in Pleasant Ridge do not believe anything suspicious was happening inside of this house. We're hearing from the police chief, who has been very open with us about this investigation, that Kathy's husband did in fact call 911 in the middle of the night. Their family is devastated. We have reached out to them, and they are just too shaken to talk. But this is certainly a reminder for everyone, especially the police chief. He wants to put this message out here, that carbon monoxide detectors are crucial and so important for everyone to have in inside of their home and Kathy and her husband did not have one. Could that have saved her life? It's certainly something that the police and the inspectors are going to look into. Reporting live from Pleasant Ridge, Lauren Podell, Evron, back to you.